Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. We have a great video to show you guys today. It is going to be on how to get the GBA emulator or Game Boy Advance emulator on your iOS device running iOS 12. Now currently iOS 11.4.1 and below is no longer being signed by Apple. So I'm doing a just kind of a refresh on most of my apps and uh, tweak videos and uh, just going to be posting a couple videos. So stay tuned. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe to All Things Apple Plus so that way you're up to date and you're in the know of what's going on with all these different applications. Now, if you do download these applications and they become revoked, meaning that they are no longer being signed, please follow me on Twitter as I, was also, as I will also be um, retweeting and making sure that you guys are up to date, letting you guys know when these apps become unrevoked. But first thing first, we're going to actually navigate to extra iOS.com and we're going to navigate we're once we navigate there actually we're going to notice that extra iOS 5.0 is here. So we're going to close that box and we're actually going to install extra iOS. I actually love this uh this application it's really user friendly which is the reason why I, I like it so much it's very easy to install once you click on that install button make sure that you put in your passcode and then go ahead and hit done hit next and install and the extra ios application should populate on your home screen as you can see right there and once we launch the app we can see that there are that there's just a complete overhaul within the application from its predecessors and it's just uh, an easier way of downloading applications. I find it a little bit more easier than most places. But we're going to navigate to the GBA for iOS. We're going to tap the blue button, click here to continue. Once we do, we'll just wait 10 seconds and you can scroll down to the bottom and you'll notice that your green uh, download button will populate. You just got to wait those 10 seconds, which it shouldn't be. Uh, it's not that long. No big deal. We'll go ahead and scroll down here and there's that get link button. We're going to go ahead and click on that and we'll be brought back to extra iOS where it will install GBA for iOS for us. Currently, the app is being signed right now. So once you see this open page in iTunes, go ahead and click open and then click install. Awesome. So once the app installs, you should, upon actually tapping on the application, you should receive some sort of notification saying that it is an untrusted enterprise. So we need to go back into settings, profiles and device management, and we need to navigate and trust our application. Now, once after downloading and opening up the app, I actually do want to show you an application that you're going to want to run side by side with this, and that is Dropbox. Make sure that you do have this application installed onto your iDevice because when you save games or when you have certain save data, this will stick with Dropbox. So just in case if the application comes becomes revoked and you need to delete the app and reinstall it later on, all your save data will be there. And you can actually navigate into the settings app by hitting that gear button on the top left corner and navigate into the Dropbox sync option where Dropbox and the GBA for iOS will kind of just coexist with each other and will allow you to have all your save data on there. That way you don't lose any of that precious save data because it's just, it's a pain having to restart all over again with your ROMs. So after all that said and done, let's navigate into Safari and we're going to need to download one some ROMs. But first, when you do navigate into the Safari uh, portion of the application, which is on the top right corner, that magnifying glass, you'll notice that there is a site not found. What we need to do is we need to go back into settings and we need to customize that so that way it shows up as either a default uh, search engine like Google, Yahoo, or any of those. So we're going to actually back out of here. We're going to go ahead and hit done, navigate back into the settings, and then you should scroll down and you should see the different types of Safari homepages that you can choose from. Just go ahead and choose Google for the time being. And then once you hit that magnifying glass one more time, you should see that Google's web, Google's search engine should populate from there. And then from there, you can type in GBA ROMs. And then from here, I'm going to show you kind of just a good website that I've been going to. It's just, uh, it's ROMs Mania. It's the second one down. Just once you type in GBA ROMs in the search bar and you, uh, it'll populate the first two, that, that second link, go ahead and pop, go ahead and click on that. And then it will show you the list of most popular GBA ROMs that you can download. For me, I'm just going to download uh, Pokemon Emerald for the time being. Go ahead and hit that big green download button and you should see that your ROM is downloading. If not, go ahead and uh, close out the application. I've noticed that if you 
clear out your Safari history, uh, that will also allow the web page to load. I've had some problems with web pages not loading for whatever reason, and that's been the the situation for me or at least the answer for me is just deleting my safari browser history now after downloading your your rom it will ask you to rename it just in case if you want to do that and then after you do that it will ask you to go ahead and save go ahead and save your rom and it should download in the background for you now from there it will automatically unzip the file for you and you should be able to go ahead and tap on the the rom itself and it should load perfectly and just normally And here you guys have it. You have Pokemon Emerald right on your iOS device. And it's again running iOS 12. And it looks like it picked up one of my old saves. Because this is brand new. I've had 19 minutes on it. I probably did this in a previous video. It picked up one of my old one of my old saves which is pretty cool so and then you can even fast forward and you do you can do plenty of things there's game shark you can pull you know plug in codes on here too so there's a lot of things that you can do within the application but fast forward is probably one of my favorite features when it comes to playing these types of games but i hope you guys did like this video if you and this tutorial if you guys did please go ahead and like comment subscribe hit that bell and ring that bell actually for post notifications going to be posting a lot of videos just kind of again doing a revamp of ios 12 since it's now being the only major firmware that's being signed at the moment so keep uh, a lookout for those videos and i'll be catching you guys on the next ones peace